I think the time that I screw up the most as a parent is when I'm reactive. When my kid does something that makes me angry or scares me or surprises me and I'm like, ah! Whereas a lot of times if we'll just slow down and respond instead of react, we get a different outcome. Jack, how do we do that? Yeah, I think people conflate those two things, respond and react as though it's the same thing, but it is different. I mean, and the easiest way to look at this is a response is a thoughtful process. It's more of an intellectual process, whereas a reaction is more of an emotional process. And so when you react, you're reacting on just a default emotional response. And, and that's probably never going to be good because, well, our emotions are jacked up, man. But uh, if you want to have a real thoughtful response intellectually, then you sit back and you think about everything that just happened, um, how your response is going to uh, factor into this, how it's going to play a part and how this person responds back. There's a lot going into this. So I think, I think the important thing is to think it through and not just blah. A lot of times you'll find that, that when you do these reactive things, you react in the same place pretty regularly, pretty constantly. Mm -hmm. And so if you really reflect on where you were reactive before, it might give you insight as to how to prepare. The, the opposite of, of reaction is, uh, is responding. Uh, it's probably not a true opposite, but if you have time to prepare, you have time to, to put together how you would like it to go or what you'd like to go differently, uh, it would help you in that process. It takes a little bit of thought, a little bit of uh, awareness, but it's a big, big deal. Yeah, and, and since we are, you know, creatures who live in community with each other, that's what human beings are. When we react in a negative way, in an inappropriate way, essentially what we're doing is we're giving people, whether it's our children, uh, whether it's friends, uh, whether it's coworkers, we're giving them permission to re to do that same thing to us. Because when we do that, we set we set the the pattern here. This is how I respond. And, and, and a lot of people will just just follow suit and respond back. And next thing you know, you got a lot of messed up relationships with people. So I think if you start off responding um, and thoughtfully responding, then that also uh, allows other people to understand that's how you deal with things. And you might uh, you know, push other people to be that way instead of reacting as well. So it'll probably help your, your social life in all aspects. Listen, I'm a nice person. So if I'm mean to you, you should probably ask yourself what you did. That's a, that's a joke, but but really being being aware of that and being aware of the fact that people seem to mirror. Uh, if you're coming into something hot, or coming into something aggressive, they'll respond with to aggression with aggression, to defensiveness with defensiveness, but to problem solving, they'll respond to that with problem solving. And so being aware of how you're coming off and where you're uh, where you're hitting as far as your conversations and your problem solving goes to go a long ways. Jack helps people with awareness. I help people with awareness, and we'd love to work with you.